Welcome. This video will outline one approach to generate a goal seek across multiple columns in Excel. Here we have a standard financial model calculating down to EBITDA, which is referencing from our input sheet. We want to goal seek our EBITDA in row 14 based on a specified EBITDA goal in row 18 by achieving a uniform 30% margin. Our changing precedent variable will be cost of goods sold in row 9. Go to Visual Basic Editor and insert a module. We want to insert an input box prompt whenever someone runs the macro, as it will permit users to exit the macro where necessary. Next, we need to declare the macros variables to prevent runtime errors. The narratives in green are optional and won't impact the macro. They merely serve as a guide for the macro user. Then we want to disable certain key Excel properties which would otherwise hinder the macro's performance. This is a key part of the macro, specifying the range of cells to change for our column goal seek. In this case is row 9. Given the cells in row 9 contain formulas, referencing to our input sheet, it is paramount to change and convert these formula cells to their values, just like copying and pasting values. 
otherwise the macro won't work. The I integer will enable the macro to move across the columns of data as per the referenced range J9 to S9. As described, C cell references the changing cells in row 9. S cell denotes the set cells in row 14 of the GoalSeq macro. whilst G cell are the cells in row 18 dictating the goal values. We are now ready to insert the code which will enable the EBITDA goal seek values in row 18 to be reflected in row 14. This is the code that will trigger the goal seek. Remember to re-enable those Excel properties which initially disabled at the top of the macro. We are now ready to insert a form control button and insert the goal seek macro. We see our multi-column goal seek macro works.